afternoon from the CBS 19 newsroom. I'm Jillian Sheridan. And I'm Justin Early. The Secret Service now investigating a credit card breach at Target stores. 40 million shoppers who use debit or credit cards at Target stores from November 27th through December 15th may have had their cards hacked. What East Texas shoppers are saying and what to do if you've potentially been hacked as well. Health experts in Texas are now saying one of eight patients admitted to the hospital recently with a mysterious illness has tested positive for H1N1. Four patients died. Doctors are saying that they've seen hundreds of new cases of H1N1 recently in Texas and nationwide. In fact, it's one of the viruses included in this year's flu shot. A grand jury has indicted two people on murder charges in connection with the October death of their severely emaciated eight-week-old baby. 19-year-old Isaiah Tolliver and 18-year-old Dequisha Jackson were indicted for first-degree murder, they're accused of causing the death of their son, Imari, by providing inadequate care. East Texas veterans are talking about the new budget deal passed through the Senate. It includes big cuts to some of their pensions, and veterans nationwide are furious. Who's affected tonight? An historic and special partnership between TJC and Texas A&M officially starts today. The presidents of the two universities signed papers today, creating a pathway for TJC students to easily continue education at A&M Commerce. A&M Commerce is also helping with financial aid. All that plus weather changes on the way and state championship pep rallies in sports. Tonight on CBS 19 News at 5 and 6.